spring training. Um, before we do that, we're gonna open up um, our sponsorships to see if we have any new ones. No, we do not. So, um, we are just gonna go ahead and simulate our spring training to the second of July, second of April. Sorry. Um, so we're gonna simulate through date and see how we do. Okay, so the we went 16 and 4. Uh, 16 and 14, uh, sorry, um, in our games in spring training. Before we simulate any, we're going to see what is going on with our team and how we rank. Um, just in the spring training. Um, we rank 9th in batting average, which is good. We rank 1st in the most amount of at-bats. That's good. Our runs... How many runs we we're eighth in runs, which is actually really good for us. We rank fifth in hits. We rank second in doubles. We rank probably we rank we're tied for eleventh with six triples. We rank third in home runs with thirty eight. We rank one hundred we rank eighth, tied for eighth, with hundred and twenty four runs batted in. We rank Set, tied for 7th with 15 stolen bases. Sorry about that. Uh, we rank tied for 6th with 4 caught stealings. Our stolen base percentage is tied for 6th with a .789, which is 78.9%. We have we have 100 base on balls, which is tied for 8th in the league. We strike out 28th with 267, which is bad because we strike out more than usually all the other teams. Our slugging percentage is 6th with a 439 slugging. We have a 333 on base percentage. We have we are tied for first with 450 total bases. And our plate appearances, we are third with 1,149. We ground it out in two. Oh god, this is bad. We ground it out into 25 double plays, which is tied for last. With 25, we have the most assists as a team with 273, mainly in our infield. Put outs, we are average fifth. We are fifth with 792. We have 10 errors, as pretty, which is not bad, but you know, we can improve upon that. We're tied for seventh. Our fielding percentage is seventh with 99.1%, or as you see, 0.991. Our ER is a team. Now, this is the very important part. We are 10th with a 3.68 ERA, and we're going to have to look at that because that's a little higher than I want. Usually, I want it in the 2.9s, or even the 2.8s. That's what I want. Nobody had a complete game. We only had two shutouts as a team, which is not the best. We had seven saves by Sean Doolittle. And Jason Grilly and Tommy Pena, which means someone blown a save. A lot more than I thought. We have seven blown saves as a team, which is nothing like us. We are going to have to literally look at that more. Hits allowed. Um, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. 271 hits have been allowed. That is tied for 27. Jesus Christ. Runs allowed. We might as well go to the bottom and work our way up. Oh, we only allowed 115 runs. That is tied, That is 16th. Earned runs. Let's go to the bottom again. Oh. 14th with 108 earned runs. Home runs allowed. We are tied for 16th with 30 home runs allowed. Bases. How many walks have we issued? We have issued 100 walks, which ties us for 21st. We have struck out 252 guys, which is really good. We are fourth. Winning percentage, we are tied for 12th with the 5-3-3, which is 53.3%, which is really good. And Bartolo actually has a perfect winning percentage. That's good. Well, that's basically all for the rankings. Now we are going to look at the pitching rotation and see where we have been going wrong. Noah Syndergaard, he's 4-3. The 
Dallas Keuchel has struggled. Media has not struggled. He's 2 for 1 with a 3.09. Brandon Finnegan has struggled to get run support. We're going to have to work on that. Bartolo is 2 and 0, but he has allowed a lot of runs, which means he gets a lot of run support. R.A. Dickey and Matt Wilson have done pretty good, and Matt Wilson needs, needs to hold it down. Um, Andrew Chaffin's going to have to work on that earned run average. That's um, Everybody else seems like they're doing pretty good. Michael Bernstein has actually held his own. If he can improve a little bit more, he'll be good. Adam Warren has done his job. Gurley has kind of done his job as a setup. Maybe lower that ERA a little. And Gr Doolittle has not blown a save yet, which is good for me. So basically, there's a lot of guys that I feel like have a ton of potential. But um, one thing I really want to do is maybe seal another starting pitcher for this roster. Or maybe go to free agency and see who we have. Okay, players here. I know what that is. But basically, just find people. Like free. free let's look at the free agents. Um, obviously there's going to be no free agents. This was a draft, so there's going to be no free agents. Don't know why I did that. But let's go look at some trades. Um, first of all, let's see who has a starter rotation doing us. I don't think anybody really does, but you know, there could be a lot of teams out there that have a really strong rotation. Obviously the Yankees have a really strong rotation, but so do we. Um, I thought like we have a mere, they have a mere edge and rotation, I feel. Um, but a lot of our pitchers have A and potential, but then again, we have a lot of older guys. Um, there's one guy I'm really looking for in particular. Um, stronger rotation than them. Stronger rotation than them. Stronger rotation than them. Stronger rotation than them. We're about equal. Um, never mind, we're not. We're nowhere equal. This team has a pretty decent rotation. I like Chris Sale and Chris Archer. They have a lot of young guys. We have a little bit of an older guy on our team. Alex Woods for number one. That's kind of scary for them. Um, where is he at? Um, if you're wondering who is the player I'm looking for, I'm actually looking for Julio Tehran. Um, I want to find him, maybe put him on the roster as the number three guy and move Media down to fourth and move Bartolo to the number five and put um, Finnegan as a long reliever until we can improve on him. But that's if I can even find Julio. No, I me, mean, I probably already... Drew Pomerez, that'd be a good guy, but you know, Julio's the guy I want. Where is Julio? Well, I probably passed him, so we're going to do the player search. I can't believe I couldn't find the best team I passed, and I wasn't even looking at him. Julio Tehran plays for the Baltimore Orioles. Okay. So I was just about to be there. He doesn't have a lot on him. That's because he's underneath that really good rotation. Oh, John. I was about to say they have a really good rotation. Oh, he is right there. What about Media? Can't do that trade. What about Brandon Finnegan? Okay. They like it, but they want a little bit. Uh, who am I going to trade off? I'm always. What do they want? They're not seeking anything. What about Barnum? Can't give up Barnhart. That's going to be a... Uh, we're going to give up... Get some suggested trades. Okay. Let's look at prospects. Who do they want for our prospects? Uh, cancel. And let's look at MLB Ready. Matt Tuffy. Bartolo. And Logan Verrett. I think that... We're going to have to edit... Um, let's look at our third baseman situation. Yes, Matt Duffy is our number one. We cannot give Matt Duffy away. Um, we can give away. I think we can give away Jan Gomes. He'd be a nice give up. We'd have more money in available funds. 
And we also have AJ behind the plate, who has been hitting more homers, who has a better average than goes. Obviously, age is a problem, so we're going to draft um, a catcher in the draft, or we're going to make another trade. Besides, Tulio has a three-year deal. Yango, oh, he's signed for three years, too. Sheesh, this is decisions. We're going to have to keep him. What about our closers? They want Anthony Escobar, and I really can't do that. Um, see if there's another strong believer we have. Mike Clevenger? Michael Bernstein? No, they don't want none of these guys. Um... I'm not going to give Helio Urias up. Um, for Matt Whistler, um, I actually think I'm willing to do that. Um, Bartolo's a big give up, though. Because. Actually, Bartolo's not that big of a give up. Um, this is what we're going to do. Sounds like a good deal to us, we'll accept the trade. It probably would be a good deal to them, but you know, having Julio as an option is really nice. Um, obviously our long reliever position is weakened by giving up. Um, but you know, picking up Julio, having Medea, and Finnegan as an end-proving player. I wonder if we could have a four-man rotation this year. Um, or maybe we could find another guy. Um, let's look at team. Or let's hit our trade. Okay, we're obviously gonna have to call somebody up. We're gonna call him up to the majors. To pitch for us as our long reliever. There we go. So even though one spot's empty, I feel like we made a great move with bringing the rookie up. See what he can do. And basically, that's our first move of um, what's in spring training. And obviously, that was the first thing that we are going to do. Thank you guys for watching. Episode 4 will actually be our first game of the year against Cole Hamels and the Washington Nationals. Hope you guys can tune in and watch this. It might be a longer video, but that's because I'm a broadcaster. Um, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment if you feel like you want to see something different. Um, I would really like the support to make this franchise go a long way, hopefully to the championship. And... Um, as always, DMAC is out. Peace.